Hi everyone. This week I wanted to share some of my top travel tips with you. My favorite country during my travels uh, was Indonesia. So today I wanted to go over 10 amazing experiences to have in Bali. Get hashtag blessed. Yes, I said that. So Bali is Hindu and you see that in every asset of their life. One thing you can do when you visit is go to a priest and actually get blessed. We're about to be blessed. Yeah. So blessed. Yes. They essentially will say some words, um, end up tying this little string around your wrist, which represents the three gods. So the whole concept is that you wear this and the gods always know where you are and they protect you. So once it falls off, then I guess you're not protected anymore. The other cool way to get blessed is through visiting Pura, Tirta, and Pool. This is a unique experience where you actually visit a temple and you go into their sacred waters and you go there, you go under 13 waterfalls and each one blesses you in a different way. It's almost like a meditative experience. There's a lot more history about it if you Google it and it tells the story of how the spring, the natural springs got there. It's been a ritualistic place for thousands of years in Bali and is definitely worth visiting. It's open to the public. If you're gonna go, I recommend going in the morning because the lines in the afternoon can get pretty intense and you really want that individual experience when you go there. If you're going to Bali, you need to visit Ubud. Ubud is all those classic Instagram shots you've seen of rice fields, all the greenery. When you go to Ubud and you go to the rice terraces, my favorite one, Pegalang Rice Terrace. This one's really beautiful. If you go, just make sure that you don't pay the locals to enter because some people end up paying and it's actually just a tourist scam that people will stand there and they'll say, oh, to get in, you need to pay entry. You don't need to pay entry, anyone can enter. Definitely go during sunset, it's unbelievably stunning. It's staying in a bubble hotel. In Bali, there's this company that, it seems like no one really knows about them, so insider tip. You can only book these bubble hotels through Airbnb and they only have five of them. Last time I was there at least, it was only five. Um, essentially what it is is you hike down this cliff. It takes about 30 minutes, you get to the bottom and it's just your bubble hotel and there's literally no one there. It's a private beach so you have this amazing view to yourself. Um, they can set up a campfire at night. They can bring you all sorts of customized. There was a romantic package where they would put like rose petals on the bed. There were um, cooking packages where they could bring you little food to cook, a grill. There was a lot of different packages and it was a cool experience. Really recommend doing that. The link below to their site, which is just Airbnb, is in the comments. Watch traditional Balinese dance. There are two great places to see Balinese dance while you're there. The first one is in Ubud where Balinese dance was first created. That's where you'll see the most authentic uh, experience for their dance. They do it inside um, Ubud Palace and the tickets are literally five dollars. Number two is Uluwatu Cliff Temple. This one was my favorite. It's a performance that tells a story of the gods and they do it in this coliseum that overlooks the ocean and they have a group of 50 men that make all the noises from nature and then they have actors that uh, dance out this uh, traditional story of the gods. It's just so stunning. Uh, they perform it at sunset. There's a fire component as well. So if you go to one of one or the other, I definitely recommend going to Uluwatu before Ubu Palace. You're in Bali, so obviously you need to experience their party scene, which it almost feels like uh, Ibiza vibes at some points. It's beachy, it's fun, uh, it's cheap. Uh, you have some of the most stunning pool bars that are on beaches that I've ever seen in my life. The lawn, 
which has a pool overlooking the ocean and it's a really good location for sunset. Coup d'etat, which is actually the highest ranked cocktail bar experience and restaurant in Bali. Sundara, which is inside a five star resort. They have these like lounging areas by the pool and they, they serve amazing cocktails. This one uh, is called La Laguna and this one does not have a pool but it's definitely worth visiting because it's a gypsy vibe. They have this massive lawn and it's just like this giant lawn party. They have a DJ that's inside of an old school like gypsy circus car and they play great music. They have epic parties. So those four places, if you want to check out the nightlife scene in Bali, are epic. Like there's nothing like it anywhere else that I've seen for that price. I mean for that price. It is so cheap. Just the variety of beaches they have, specifically hidden beaches. My favorite hidden beach that we discovered while we were there was Bukit Badung Beach. That one is really unique because you can only access it when the tide is low. When the tide's high, it's not even something you can go to. So on the top cliff portion of it, there's a, a little restaurant that you can dine at and the water's unbelievably blue. There's little sea caves. It's a place you want to check out. Snorkeling and the Gili Islands. Now, I know that the Gili Islands are technically not Bali, but they are a quick weekend trip from Bali. I stayed in Lombok when I was visiting them, and from um, the hotel that we stayed at, we could rent this amazing dragon boat, traditional dragon boat that was carved from wood, and go to the different islands. Um, and it was literally only $100 to rent this private tour and boat experience where you could like have unlimited drinks uh, for the entire day. So that's the thing I really like about Bali. It's so inexpensive. The Gili Islands, uh, when we were snorkeling, we saw turtles, we saw amazing coral, tons of uh, tropical fish. It's some of the best snorkeling I've ever seen and I love snorkeling. One thing I always do no matter where I am is do a cooking class. I think that cuisine is really a way you can learn a lot about a culture. I always take a cooking class. I took one in Bali and Lombok. The one in Lombok was amazing because they set up this gorgeous like beach dining area. Check out this video of it. You'll see what I mean. This is our dinner for tonight. Around here they've lit tiki torches. It's just beautiful. We just made this meal. It's all traditional um, Lombokanese cuisine. Go to Hotel Tugu in Lombok or Bali. This is my favorite hotel there. It's the best place to stay and it's totally reasonably priced. Uh, the cool thing about these hotels are that they're literally a living museum. Most of the artifacts in the hotels are all antiques, they're originals, um, and they have themes. So the one, the hotel in Lombok is themed towards Indonesian legends. And this is a room tour, check this out. This is the first doorway. I thought this was the doorway to our room. Turns out, it's actually the doorway to the doorway to our room. Little bowls of flowers everywhere, filled with hibiscus. Everything in here has history and meaning. It's like a living museum, so it makes it super, super unique. Uh, there's beach hats, there's robes, towels. Come through here. Look at this tub. Do you see this? It's a rock that they carved the inside out of, then put tile here. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. The shower is equally impressive. This is a rain, uh, a rain head shower. The bedroom. We have this beautiful canopy here. Um, just fresh flowers everywhere. My favorite. This bed. I mean, this, this is so thick. Like this whole setup is just so beautifully carved with flower designs and all of that. Let's take a look outside where we have our own private pool. Day bed here just for lounging purposes. If you want to have some nice tea or coffee, you can sit here and enjoy the view. That overlooks the turquoise waters. 
of Lombok Island and this is a beautiful sunrise spot. So that's the tour of our place. And number 10, you know, I can't give you all my secrets in this video, so I do have several guides on visiting Bali, Lombok, the Gili Islands on my website, sarahfunky.com, so make sure you check out sarahfunky.com for all of the tips on visiting Bali. I'll give you restaurant details, things to do, and just more unique experiences. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.